Let's make some beef short ribs. So tender, the bone pop out. So tender, you can shred them with a fork. Come on in this kitchen. I got you. Let's get it. First, we're going to prep our short ribs. We're going to start by removing all the fat and silver skin from the short rib. This will ensure that they become very tender. This is what a clean short rib look like. Next, you want to season your short ribs. I'm using my smack and rub. You can use whatever seasonings that you like. In a large sauce pot, you're going to add some olive oil. And we're going to pan sear our short ribs to ensure to lock in all that flavor so it become nice, tender, and juicy. Make sure you brown all sides just like this. Let's prep our veggies. First, we'll start by peeling our carrots. Don't want to leave the skin on because we're going to eat this later on. So you want to be nice and pretty. Do not cut your carrots into small pieces. Cut them into large chunks so they can withstand the heat inside of the oven. Do the same with your celery and your onions. Cut them into large chunks as well too. In the same pan you brown your short ribs in, you want to add in your carrots, your celery, and your onions. And you want to brown those off as well. Too. We're also going to add some more aromatics. We're going to start with some chopped garlic and then we're going to use some chopped shallots as well. This is going to give that salsa extra boost in flavor. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. After you brown your vegetables, you're going to add in your aromatics, your chopped garlic and your shallots. Let them salty as well, but do not burn them. Do not burn them. And then we're going to use your little rich cousin with the good hair, a little Cabernet Sauvignon, which is a red wine. We're going to use about a cup of this to deglaze the pan. <laughs> After your wine cooked down, you want to add about four to five cups of beef stock to your pan. Now let's season our stock. First, we're going to start with some thyme, T-H-Y-M-E, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and then we're going to add some kosher salt. Some tomato paste. This is going to help give that salsa extra That's richness nice as well too. Food. And then we're going to add our short ribs, our carrots, our celery, onions, shallots, and garlic. All back inside the pot. Next, you're going to cover them with foil. And then you're going to put them into the oven at 350 degrees for two hours. It's been two hours. Okay, now let's check our short ribs. They should be nice and tender. Not falling off the bone completely but tender and if they're not done please add them back in all ovens are not created equally next you want to remove your short ribs and you want to remove all your vegetables as well next let me show you guys a quick trick you're going to add some ice to cool down the oils inside of the stock what it's going to do is it's going to solidify the fat so it turns like this and clumpy now you can do this process or technique just by putting straight to the refrigerator if you have the time but if you don't have the time you can use this technique and just put the pot back on the stove to reduce the stock so you do not lose any of your flavors next you're going to add some browning you want to add some color to your sauce to thicken the sauce i'm going to use some cornstarch and water which is called a cornstarch slurry this is going to help the sauce thicken instantaneously real quick all right, now this came back to a boil. Now I can add my cornstarch slurry, and it's gonna happen real fast, okay? Real quick. Just like that. And then you're gonna add back your carrots, your celery, your onions, and all your short ribs back into the sauce. Look at this beautiful, dark, rich gravy with all the vegetables that don't cook down inside this stupid for hours just cooked so you know it's banging with all this flavor oh my god oh my goodness amen amen fix me plate look at this somebody come look at this i paired it with some winter vegetables and also some leftover macaroni cheese i had left you can also do some, some white rice of course or some mashed potatoes whatever you like but let me tell y'all something this right here these short ribs is banging they're must try try them out you don't know just like that Short ribs. Mm. Get some. Mm. <laughs> ah. Tender, tender love. 
short ribs. Mm. Mm. And you already know, you like what you see? Try it. <laughs>